I heard you. I just willingly ignored the question. <laughs> God damn it. The answer is because I had a stroke. Oh, very good. Very good. All right. Y'all ready, ready to get back into this? <clears throat> All right. Yeah, yep. I am. Um, I may have to run downstairs in about a half an hour and go okay. grab my mom. Because I had a wet washcloth on the back of my neck, but I put it in the freezer so it was cold again. So Okay. That's fine. If we need to take it just a quick there, that'll be fine. Be I mean, it'll... Right. I mean, I literally just have to run downstairs to grab it out. It'll take me, like, a minute, e but... He's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay, so... Your little room's getting quite a bit more crowded as... Instead of your original four staying in here, now you have six... So the original four had their rooms. Root got the couch. Yes. Which means poor little Tuffy Royal got the floor. Uh, yeah, no. I gave him my bed. <laughs> you softy Why? door! Hey, Look at the my door! Bed. Oh, you're so cute! Look at the little door! It's me so nice! I'm used to sleeping <laughs> on rock floors. This is basically like a bed to me. Fair point. That was fine. Right. I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> so, it is about 8 in the morning. Who is awake at this point? My characters. Yeah, I'm awake as well. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put it, myself it, in a chair. Uh, she's yep. sitting in bed. She's sitting on the edge of her bed reading. <clears throat> I am definitely not awake. And Eris I'm is kind up. of groggy and a little hungover. Okay. So, in other words, the only person that's really asleep right now is... Brute. Galen. Eris, whatever you want to call him in this one. We'll just start calling He's... him Galen, I guess. Alright, so Galen kind of walks through the room. And kind of takes stock of everybody. I look over and say, morning. What's his head? Hey. Thanks for the bed last night. Uh, as I see Torvald come through my room, I put my book away, and I step out as well. Glad to see we're all still alive. I look over at Root on the couch and say, well, for the most part, and I kick the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I need a fucking pair of the dog. I start a little bit and uh, fall onto the floor. Are you still gracefully, asleep? Gra gracefully pick myself up and about as gracefully away. as you can after falling off of a couch. Yes. Again, because I'm pretty I sure think, we had to kick you off. I think he time. should roll at an agility oh, check. Yeah. <laughs> I should roll to see if I can get up. Okay. Graceful. No, let's just see how graceful you really yeah. are. I'd like a dex. Uh, Maybe acrobatics. acrobatics check. Okay. Acrobatics. Because he's acrobatics. not trying to, like. like Athletics so would be like, can he like freaking push the couch across the room? Uh, so D twenty plus whatever. Correct. Plus your acrobatics score. Which for you is going to be six. Eh, you kinda just heft yourself up off of the ground, nothing too special, but you also don't look like a complete I mean I'm disappointed. I am to you, kind of. Graceful. I'm only half cat. <laughs> no walk. Half, apparently. That so, was awfully mean. Galen kind of walks up to the table and he goes, Well, I'm guessing we should probably get something to eat, and then what's the plan for splitting up today? You're coming with me and Baron, and we're going to go take out, we're going to go check out Rain. I After nod. that, we're splitting up again. After that, we're going to re-split up, and you and I, or someone else, which we're, we'll decide at the time, are going to lay low for a little bit while the others check out some of the um, more heavily hidden areas. Or, not heavily hidden, um, rat-heavy areas. If they fair see you, we're screwed. Alright. Sounds like a plan to me. Sorry. Uh, we should probably get started soon. We've already gotten a late start as it is, and we want to cover as much ground today as we can so we can formulate a better game plan this evening. 
I well, nod. from personal experience in watching the rats, since I've been tracking them in the city as much as I can while I'm not being tracked by the guards, you don't normally see rats make any real appearance in the city until at least the early afternoon. I nod and say, well then why don't we check out some of the more rat-heavy areas now, while it's, while it's safer. He says, it's we'll probably not the worst of idea. They're notorious for partying hard and being hung over the next day. I see that some of our party is also carrying that reputation. And he kind of darts an eye over at Torvok. I think we all darted yeah. an eye over at Torvok. <laughs> <laughs> so like his eyes kind of first and then everybody else's just goes over there too yeah like some bad sitcom <laughs> I'll go over to Galen and say you get used to that one after a while and by get used to you I mean tolerate I you tolerate me that's like the nicest thing you've ever said thank you Galen <laughs> uh, kind of laughs I, I glare at him and debate slapping him but realize that it's not worth it you will be making you will not be at charge of guarding him at all. I nod in all agreement right. and say, yeah, no, this is a good idea. Let's get to the rats before they're able to get dangerous. And I just bite my tongue. Baron, all you right. and I will get going. Baron, not Baron, you and I will take some of the um Eric, you and I will not be taking the bar. You'll, we'll be taking the other place in that area, which I can't remember what it is. The rest of you head to the bar. Talk to Len and see what information you can get of him. Let's go. Let's move forward now. Get out of, get out of rat territory by early after, before early afternoon if you can. Meet back here as soon as you can. Every, okay. Is everyone understood on the plan? Yeah, we're good. So yeah, before I mm -hmm. send you all off on your way, I'm going to drag you all down to the basic bar. I want you to split off into your parties now. Okay. Um, so that way I know kind and, of like what's going and who. Right, and then Eris is with Baron. Okay, and I, yeah. cool. Baron. Okay, so this is so, a party for like this yeah. session, like this early morning part. Well, we're not going to encounter rats because I think we decided we wanted to re-split up when there right. was a higher probability of running into rats. Yeah, right. So just to be clear, the parties are going to be as they're shown, and Eris, Tia, <clears throat> actually, sorry, Galen, Tia, and Baron, you guys are heading to the Byrus district. Yes. And then Homer, Root, and Torvok, where are you guys going? Uh, we were going to the bakery. Where yeah. else? Was that was that the only one? Well, I had suggested earlier when we were upstairs that you guys head to the bar since we're going to be in that area while it's less rat heavy, and you can you might be able to get oh, more. Oh, silver the bar. silver peaks. Yes. Yeah. That, I couldn't remember okay. the name right. of it. Yes. Okay. okay. We're going okay. to the bakery so, first, and then the other place. Oh yeah, well, breakfast. Well, head up the bakery in the afternoon. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Are we able Both? to, Tony, as the DM, can we just yes. agree that we've had breakfast and we're ready to go? Like, we don't have to go through. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna, okay. I'll go ahead and time skip you forward an hour, so it's about 9 a.m. You guys have all eaten. You're good. To okay, cool. Um, so. Here's the thing, guys, is if you go to the bakery, you guys are better off going to the bakery in the afternoon. They might give you more information. You're better off going to Len now because you're going to, we're more likely to get information out of him because, like Galen said, there's um, a less chance of um, rats coming in now. Once you get towards the evening, if the rats are drunkards, you're going to have a higher probability of running into them at the bar. I, I Just say, as a clarification, I, mm -hmm. this is Len, by the way. Yeah, I think Corey Sorry. was the one to yeah. go talk to. Corey is, the other one. Corey is the guy at the bar at Silver right. Peaks. Sorry. And I tell them, um, besides, everybody knows they don't make the fresh cupcakes until afternoon, so we'll be fine. All right. Fine. I, oh, sure, but the first bash comes out like in an hour, dude. I start walking out. I okay, so I go and follow him, or I, right. I uh, finger wag him and follow, tell him to follow. 
I'm going to leave you guys here just for now because when I come back, you're going to meet back here and I'm going to read. Gotcha. Um, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is select one representative from your party to go ahead and just roll me a d20 so I can know like who I'm going to go with first and bounce back and forth between. Oh, I see. I'll roll for it. Paul knocks yourself out. Oh. Alright, all right. Paul versus Homer then. Oh, that's a big roll. <laughs> Come on, natural one. It's nothing. Wasting, wasting <laughs> all those good rolls. Wasting okay. all those good so rolls. So we're going to be following them first, and then we'll bounce over to Baron, Tia, and Galen. Cool. Yep. Um. So just to be clear, you guys are just going to be heading around and just walking around within the virus district? Okay. Well, no, I'm asking because I don't know. I don't know your plan. There was, I can't remember the other place we were going to visit. There was, I think, the Byron District. There were two places we needed to visit, I thought. The Byron District really only has uh, uh, the tavern, really only has Silver Peaks. Okay. I mean, you can walk around the place and see if maybe you can find anything else, but Silver Peaks is like really the only actual like place that you guys really know anything about. Okay, so Sorry, perhaps I'm just you could find to... something else there. Okay. No, you're fine. I'm just trying to keep it all straight because there was areas that we needed to cover in the afternoon because they were high, high, high rats. Right. Well, in just to give you a frame because you guys did, you did name off a lot of areas to cover. The areas that you guys named off, you named off the blacksmiths at Ironhearts. Uh, you named off Rain. In the tavern. Yep. You named off the bakery, and then you also named off uh, Silver Peaks to go speak with Cord. Okay. So Silver Peaks is the only place that is in the virus district, but okay. again, you guys can walk around the area, and maybe see if there's something out there that maybe you could figure out, perhaps from a local passerby. Okay, maybe or another yeah. building you guys haven't gone into. Maybe what we should do right. is talk to Rain, then go to the virus district, and then. We can do the like little streetwise stuff while they're doing their thing. Meet up in the virus district, then split up again. Well, we need to hit the virus district in the morning now. So if we do the, we need to do the street. That way, if something goes wrong when they're in Silver Peaks, we're nearby. Let's do it the other way around. Then we'll go to the virus. Di we'll all go to the virus district. They'll split up into the tavern while we take to the streets, and then we'll all meet up at Rain's house, and then we can split off if we need to again. Okay, this will take a quick little loading section to get you guys in. Oh. Yep. Yep. All right. So you guys are here in the Byrus district. He's again. Okay, so we're just going to hang out in the streets, and they're going to go in, I guess. Okay, so as your frame of reference, you have three different places you can visit, um, two of which you guys actually didn't go to the first time you came here. The only place that you went to was uh, Silver Pine, or I mean Silver Peaks, and that was right here. You don't know what this building is, or this one is. Can we do like a perception check to see what they are? Streetwise. Um, yeah, it'd probably be streetwise in this case. And that'll be the first thing that these guys get to do when we come back to them, because we're going to follow you three into Silver Pines. Or in the Silver Peaks. I keep wanting to screw oh. the name up. <laughs> oh, no, 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 hold on. Keep your own lore straight, Tony. And <laughs> you are not here. All right, so the three of you walk into Silver Peaks, and there, waiting at the counter, is Corey. And he looks up and waves. He recognizes you from the other day. And he kind of asks, uh, to what's one of this pleasure? We're uh, looking for information. Information. What about the rat, rat gang? He kind of he kind of furrows up his brow a little bit, and he kind of says, "People who go fishing for rats are the ones who often get bit. So I'd be careful if I were you." We're not looking for a fight. We're just looking out for information. He still he nods and he he reiterates his statement. He says, "What is it that you're looking for? I can't promise assistance, but I might be able to help you a little." Uh, we're looking a little, just a little information on their 
business dealings? If do you do any business with them at all? He kind of coming going. He kind of bluntly shuts down. He says, "I personally don't do business dealings with them anymore." All right. Do you know uh, any reason for that? He kind of looks around, and he kind of he makes he kind of listens around. So maybe if you want to make a perception check to see what's going on. All right. Do we all do the percep- perception? If you wish, at least one yeah. of you needs to make it though. Uh, yeah, I'll... yeah, you should do it. Yeah, because you have a lot. Okay, sixteen. Twenty-seven. Okay, so you kind of strain your ears, and you don't necessarily hear anything either, which is apparently what Corey was looking for. He was trying to find out if he could hear it. He leans in and he says, "So, a long time ago, back when uh, the rats were a little more civil, I guess you would call it." My fellow associate that I used to run this bar with, we used to get our alcohol. They used to be in on the bootlegging trade. So why did this stop? I personally put a stop to the deal after my partner was found dead. Do you know, do you know how he died or was killed? Who did it? He shakes his head, but he says that the only thing that was found at the scene was a dagger with an ivory carved handle, which he, he goes on to explain that that was a it was a memento or a family heirloom of sorts that he had consistently seen in Rikus's possession and has since seen it in his possession again. So you think it was the rats? He says, well, given that the dagger was found, disappeared and wound up back in the hands of a rat, I see little reason to believe why it wouldn't have been. Is there like a Batman check we can do for detective uh, work? A Sight. Batman check? Yeah, I, I like the I like the terminology for a Batman check. Technically, in this case, you could do insight, but the question is like, what are you trying to do here? Just, just see what else we can make, find out about the make murder. Make sure, or, yeah, make sure. I think he's telling the truth. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, you want insight check here. And we, right. It wouldn't be in this, right? this all sounds cool. great. This all sounds great. <laughs> it all adds wow. up to you, Homer. <laughs> Homer, don't I mean, fuck this up. God damn it. It also fuck very much adds up to Torvald, <laughs> too. What what check are we rolling? Insight? Insight. 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 By default, unless Ben crit fails, his role is better than Homer's. Okay, <laughs> twenty-one. So you can you can tell that like from his talking about the dagger, like he obviously knows a lot about it, and he's not particularly uh, pleased about having to go back and recount these memories. But uh, so you and the rats though didn't break have like any there's no owed money on any side your business dealings break off for for services not rendered or any just because of your your friend's death he said that he wanted no part or Corey said he wanted no more part in the deals so he made sure that after the next shipment was received, 
the contracts were cut off with the rats and no more deliveries were to be taken from them. The way that he saw it, if I take the pay, if I take the alcohol, then by nature I have to pay them. They take alcohol, they can offload at other places. And but do you have any idea no where they, uh, where they might have gone to offload it once you uh, cut them off? He says, I personally don't have much of an inkling as to where or as into what bar, but there might be perhaps the next closest city to here, if I had to guess. They like to keep a lot of their business dealing close to the city as far as... So they may not be here in Savanti, but if I had to guess, they may have gone to Hijara. All right. Uh, heard anything else about the rats specifically in this area? He kind of looks around, and he doesn't necessarily see anything. Doesn't necessarily hear anything. But what he does do is he kind of leans over the counter, and he says, "Exactly what." Have you been told about our ties here with the rats at Silver Peaks? We know everything. He's going to bluff check you on this one. <laughs> wow, shocker there. You need to make an. You actually need to make an. In okay, you're bluff checking him. Oh, I'm sorry. So I just, I was okay, did, okay, did you do a bluff? Yeah. Okay, he's doing an insight check to try to bullshit that, basically. And, yeah, you actually... Okay, so he's not able to discern any different. He says, well, so you do know everything. Yeah. He kind of looks around, and he says, okay... Then if you know everything, how do you access the rats? I look to Homer and Root. Tell them, guys. <laughs> You're an oh. asshole. Look, we can't be sure you know this information. We can't just be <laughs> getting it out willy-nilly. I, I roll a bluff. He's going to also roll Insight. Go ahead and make your roll. The plus. So he can tell you're you're not telling the <laughs> truth. He kind of looks at you and he says, "I still remain adamant that you don't know everything." What Torbach meant wasn't that we know everything about the situation, but that we know more than enough and are trying to help some people, and that's why we've come here. No, no, no. Me and Root don't know everything, but Torvok here... Torvok <laughs> knows everything. <laughs> really, guys? Oh, really? How can you throw it? Damn, talk oh, about a way to throw God. that around. He kind of, he kind of leans over and he says, you guys ever heard of the other nickname that they tend to call Silver Peak? I have I, not. I can't say that I have. I've heard lots of things. Which nickname are you referring to? Or he clears his throat and before he tells you, we decide to go over to our other friends outside. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> this is the best ever. I'm like, about to lose it right now. You guys are eating. I look at the tavern so, door and say, I wonder how they're doing in there. <laughs> Galen kind of looks at you guys and says, No idea. But oh, if we're going to be talking funny. to people or wandering around here, I'm not going to have a whole bunch of time. Maybe three 
E hours for tops for any of the early members of the Rat Guard. I, I nod in agreement and say, all right, you can stay completely quiet. We don't want to give you away. Tia, you're a bit brash. I'll do the talking, but I know you grew up on the streets, so point us in the direction. Uh, I suggest we start looking at one of the uh, buildings that we haven't already checked. Let's check one of the buildings we haven't already checked. Uh, okay, which Baylin. one would you like to no. go to? Let's go this one. This that one. one. Okay. Uh, I look to Galen and I say, "Do not speak unless spoken to. Do not say. Do not try and give away. Do not, um, do not speak unless spoken to. If you stay, the quieter you stay, the better, the safer you will be. Understand?" He kind of nods his head and draws his hood over his head. If you get in a rut, just wait. One of us will help you out. Right, Baron? I say, looking to him. I'm assuming we're all at the door yeah. <laughs> already, but so... Okay. Yeah, yeah I nod. So, uh, we're going to have to play a little bit of imagination here because I totally don't have an inside for this place. No worries. Okay. Um, so you walk inside and you actually find out that what this place is, is it's actually a city counting house. It's more or less their equivalent of a bank. Okay. So one of the uh, can I do a perception quack uh, check quickly sure. as we walk in? You can do a perception quack. You can quack and I see can what quack? you can quack. Yeah, you can quack and see what it turns up. <laughs> Is it like some sort of sonar? <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> All right, but yeah, you can give me a perception check. Okay. Um, so you don't see anything particularly anything out of the unusual. Okay. Um. Bank is a little bit short-staffed, but it also, from the appearances with you guys hanging out, it doesn't look like this place has been open very long, so it's possible that more of their workers are still trickling. How many workers are we talking? Uh, probably three, including uh, someone you believe might be in charge, or at least is acting in charge. Okay. So maybe uh, one or two, so maybe like a tell, like maybe if you want to link it like this, like a teller, a money counter, and a manager? Okay, maybe. so like somebody standing at a desk or whatever, and maybe somebody overlooking them walking around? Thin skeleton crew right now, but again, because it's early, it's more likely than not that more of the work is going up a little late. Okay. Uh, I look to Baron and I say, you start working on the manager, move him away. You might get, we might get more information out of the teller once, if his manager isn't uh, standing over his neck. I nod and say, just keep a lookout. Uh, Galen, stay with Baron just in case. I say I begrudgingly admitting that Baron is. He nods. I guess we're in the building here, so <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, actually, I guess I can. Uh, hang on, I think I can whip together at least a sort of map we can work with. I, I mean, I'm fine with what yeah, we I'm have good here. Too. Well, oh, okay, good. I was about to say I can figure out something really. Um. All right. Okay. So, so I walk up who is to is doing what? I walk up to the dude who is like looks like he's in charge and say, "Good day, sir. How goes it?" He says, "It goes slowly. How can I help you?" I look around and just say, "Nice place you got here. When did you open?" He says, "Well, we've been open since the founding of the city." So, we are actually one of the oldest banks in the entire continent. I nod and say, a bank so grand as this must have had some run-ins with some local trouble. He says, we do our best to make sure our customers uh, stay as honest with us as they possibly can. But, unfortunately, we have had to have issues where we have had to shut down some... Less than savory individuals' accounts. Would you happen to have any specifics? That kind of information isn't available to be given to the pub. I understand that. It's just that we're tracking this known criminal throughout the lens. And next, last I heard, he was going to be hitting up some banks in this area. So I just want to make sure you're safe and that you haven't had any run-ins with him yet. Hmm... Would you like to bluff check that for me? Sure. Come on, good roll. Yes. 
Okay. So he kind of bites his lip and he goes, hmm. There's in the area thinking about a potential robbery, hmm? Now, may I ask, how did you come into possession of this knowledge? I look down at the armor I'm wearing and at the mall on my back and say, Sir, do you not recognize a paladin? I have been tracking this guy for the last year. There's a year? Hmm. Fascinating. And yet you still have not made any progress. What led him to believe, what you led you to believe he would be coming here? Some talk in the neighboring city or section or wh wherever we were. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, well, you were technically you were just over <laughs> in like the main hub of Savanti. Yeah. So some talks from over call. there. People are talking about the rats and I've heard this through my travels of this gain. And so that's basically how I came here. Well, the rats are definitely an issue around here. That is one thing. For... We're not particularly... We don't like having to deal with... How, we have to... How often would you say you have to deal with the rats? If I had to guess, we generally have a run-in with them every month or so. But unfortunately, it's not too terribly much we can do to say that they're doing anything illegal because... They are just bringing in money and depositing it, and it is indeed legitimate. We do run it through our uh, arcanists who catch surprisingly several people trying to pull one over on us, but they can't seem to pin anything on them in particular. I nod to him and lean in a little bit closer and say, All right, sir, I'm going to level with you. I don't care about your money or your business here. You have a fine operation. I don't necessarily even care about your operations with the rats. However, I do care about the fact that I know they're planning something grand, which may or may not include your bank. And I just want to make sure your customers and yourself are safe. Hmm. Do you know anything else about this plan or this operation? This, uh, this is where I hoped you could come in. All I've heard were chatter in the streets and from random people I've talked to in the other part of Savanti. Hmm. He kind of... He, he thinks and he says, Well, to tell you the truth, we have been noticing quite a bit less of them showing up here as of late. Well, surely that's a good thing. Could be, but it also might be a little bit more troublesome than that. Would you happen to have any information on how I could track their movement in this area? He says, well, fortunately, the rats... Well, here's the thing. The rats aren't particularly secretive about their movements. But one could say they are very... Sorry, I think you cut out they after don't very defensive. Okay. They're they're not one to be they don't like being corn their actions. They they very much like to go along their way and more or less do as they please without being questioned. And unfortunately, they're tough enough to basically make sure that we don't I nod and just say, I understand. If there's any information you can give me to help, to let me know. Oh, this is where we are? He says, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I was just kind of hacking that together while you guys were talking. And this is the guy so, I'm talking to right here? Yeah, the one in front of you is okay. who you're speaking with. He, um, yeah, he and looks then like a from boss. the positions that you, and from the positions you believe, you believe that this guy is the teller. This guy may be the superior. Is so this, I assume that this is like a counter thing right here. Yes. Okay. Cool. 
Um, so, I, I want to do an insight check on this dude. Sure. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. You have a beautiful face. Have I mentioned that recently? Your face is just quite lovely. So... You kind of decided to, to run an insight check on him because you're trying to figure out his body language. He doesn't seem to be innately all that concerned when he's mentioning the rats. Like, at all. At all. Like, not more or less, he's like actually pretty nonplussed by the mention of the rats. Okay. I I over Tia and just say, like, just kind of give her, like, a signal with my eyes, like, ch take a look at this guy. I, uh, I begin to make my way over here. And I just kind of almost stand, I guess, on guard uh, in a way. So you don't seem very worried about rat activity, sir. Is it safe to assume that you have certain precautions? Maybe even connections? He kind of looks around and he says, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I'd like to do a diplomacy Would you like check. To a little... Galen kind of asks from the corner, How long you been working here? I glare at him because he just... I glare at him. <laughs> Yeah, I think we both look over at him like, shut when up! He, <laughs> when he says it, though, like, he doesn't, like, it's in an accent you haven't heard him speak like, in before. Like, but so we still glare at him. So, like, how well, long you been here? You or okay. something. <laughs> okay, so, like, let me put it to you this way. The only reason you guys know it was him is because it came from that direction. And no one else was there. Yeah, otherwise, okay. you may not have recognized the voice. I think Galen should roll a bluff check. Alright. What are you doing? <laughs> not helping us! I can't <laughs> help you your face! I'm playing D&D, &D, yo. <laughs> if he's trying You're to, not helping! If he's trying to bluff, I think he should roll a bluff check. If he fucks this up, it's your fault, and I'm personally blaming it's, you until the end of time. It's convincing enough that you guys are actually a little impressed. Okay. I hide my, the fact that I'm impressed yeah, at the moment. Yeah, I think we we'll, both we'll get do. back to that. Stone face. He kind, of, he kind of looks around, and he says, Well, personally speaking, I've been the manager of this branch for about eight years, but I've worked in the bank for about twelve. Back to your connections that you may or may not have with the rats tell us more about these connections i inquire he kind of he kind of stonewalls and he basically just looks at you and just says i don't know what you're going to would you like me to be more blatant i ask um i'd like to actually take that as an intimidate check myself okay uh, let me see what my intimidate is, because it's probably crap. And I probably just fucked this over. My bad. My intimidate's really bad, too. Uh, <laughs> I may have fucked this up. Probably should have put some more into intimidate. I think this is another Batman check. Yep. I hate you so much. Oh, not as high as I would like it to be. He kind of it. looks at you, and he's not particularly impressed. I step in front of Tia and say... Uh, sorry, you might have the wrong impression. I know that, like, let's say, let's say for a second here, <laughs> you're connected to an illegal organization and you are working in a bank. Let's just say that. Let's say it's the rats, even. Let's say it's a game on. that rhymes with blats. Let's just say. Let's just say it's the rats. <laughs> yeah. And let's be a little bit less uh, beating around the bush here. I, I realize this is probably not the best place to talk. All I'm saying is that we're keeping our eye on you, and if you have anything you want to tell us, we will be at this place at this time. And then I jot down a note saying, uh, I'm trying to think of a safe place, like in the other part of Savanti at the Wyvern's Tale. Okay. 
and I'd like to do a diplomacy check. Okay. By the way, if you wanna, if you're trying to figure out another a place, yeah, how we have the virus district. Uh, the other place, um, kind of in the I'm shadows. Sorry, it took me a while because I had, I I had the name of it written down. I just couldn't find it. Okay. The district that is like the main district that you guys are in is the Atchpin district. Atchpin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Atchpin. So if basically anybody asks like where you're coming from, if you say the Atchpin district, like they'll get it. They they'll know you're coming from. The Atchpin is where the is where the tavern that we're saying it is, yes? Correct. Atchpin okay. is the safer of the two. Okay, so gotcha. you diplomacy on him? Yes. Just to kind of, like, maybe make him forget that Tia tried to scare him into saying something and maybe f make him feel a little bit more at ease with me. He kind of scruffs the note from your hand, and he kind of grumbles at you. I'll consider speaking to you. Only as he kind of shoots a look at Tia. He kind of then looks at you and he says, You know, people who aren't dwarves don't try to act like them. Good day. And he spins on his heel and walks away. He spins on his heel. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I look over uh, at Tia and happened? say, Okay, we'll do it your way next time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. At this point, I'd like to- oh, what time is it? Is it um, so- it is a, how, how it much is time is Um, I would probably say at this point about a half hour has passed, so it's okay. about ten... So we still no, have about, about- yeah, it's about- t We have about two you hours. You guys probably have about- you guys have about two hours before you may start seeing patrols. Um, and I at this point, Baron. we're gonna- Okay, yeah, I was about to say, you oh. finish off yours, we're going to cut to the next one. I looked at Baron and I say, let's go check out that other building and try to get out of here, and then we'll go kick, we'll pull the others from the tavern. I nod, and as I start walking towards the door, I look over at Galen and say, what the hell was that? <laughs> I, uh, I follow behind him and go, what the hell did I tell you? And he then we of, all walk out. He kind of looks at you, and as they as you guys walk out of the door... Um, I would like you guys to all roll a perception check for me, please. Wait, what was the for? We all, he looks at me and what? He doesn't say anything yet because you guys aren't fully Fuck. outside. But yeah, I want all of you guys to do a perception check for me. Like us two, right? All three of you guys, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I screwed that up, didn't I? Sorry. Yeah, that, that roll didn't come together. The all one right. needs to be next to the D20. It. There, there you Ooh, go. Nice. Right. Okay, I, well, and then. I, yeah. Okay. Tia, as you're walking out, notice the manager walk over this gentleman. Mm hmm. And you see him kind of jab him in the side with his elbow mm -hmm. and then he points at the three of you and then kind of does like keep an eye on them motion with his hand like a nod or something yeah yeah okay are we gonna cut to us being outside or are we gonna cut to the bar we're gonna cut to the bar now uh okay uh, let me make a note are we gonna okay never mind when we cut back are we gonna cut back outside or inside the next building we're gonna cut back outside okay cool sorry i need I to make definitely... a note yeah, no problem. Yeah, I definitely don't have another map set up for the other one, but this one no. I kind of came up with on. I mean, don't worry about it. I Yeah, I know. I'm just giving you guys the heads up here. So we're going to go back to Silver Peaks, and we're going to kind of close back in back on when Corey said, you ever heard the other nickname this place has? And if I'm not mistaken, it was Torvok that said, I've heard it called many other places. It depends on what nickname you're referring to. Do I remember this correctly, or am I mistaken? Yeah, You are correct, sir. <laughs> my amazing bluffing skills. Bluffing poor ma. He, he kind of looks at you up and down and he says, how can I trust you? How can I know that I can trust you? Um, do you see my face? How can't you trust this face? I believe this should how be another How could you not check. trust this face? Come on. 
So are you all trying to bluff him right now? I yeah. think so. Or are, you, or are you trying to be diplomatic about it? Well, I think we're trying to bluff him. Yeah, okay. based on my diplomacy. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and see what your bluff is here. Bam. Okay. So, interestingly, um, so he kind of looks over and he says, Normally I'm not so trustworthy of elvish folk. But he kind of walks a step over. And you see him kind of crouch down next to the floor. Perception check? And yeah, Sure, if you want to, in this case. Okay, so you you see him fiddling with a small lock. And he says, this is something very few people, I mean very few, know about. He says, the other nickname this place used to be called, and far less popular, sir. Far more various ones. As he lifts up the hatch, the place used to be called the rat hole. <laughs> I stifle laughter. Because I'm immature. I love how Torvok is basically you, so you can get away with out of character <laughs> shit. I hate you so much. Dude. I really cannot. Where can I explain how much I want to just. just I hate you. <laughs> I give Torvok a punch in the shoulder to shut up his laughing. So, basically, he kind of lifts up. And he <clears throat> he kind of motions down the staircase and then closes up the hatch. He says, do you think you follow? I follow. Torvok? Torvok yeah, knows Tor all. Follows, so. <laughs> What don't I know? Tarvok is already aware. He goes on to explain that that stairwell underneath the bar leads to a... It actually, he's been keeping it under his hat for a while, but that actually leads to a small base of operation sorts for the uh you cut out there base of operations for the rats I assume yes I don't, yes. I don't know if anything followed after that nope nothing did I'm gonna change my voice activity so it... okay can you guys uh, hear me now more reliably yeah We'll find right. out, probably. Hopefully. All right. I really I'm just going to move it to that setting there, because I've been having trouble with consistent broadcasting tonight for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but basically, he has said, like, um, he has had this underneath his bar for quite some time, and it's a small little base. It's a small little passage that leads directly to a small base of operations for the rats. He goes on to explain that that used to be the old route they used for bootlegging. But not anymore. He says, I don't know what they do with it anymore. It's honestly very little of my concern anymore. I don't like affiliating with them, but they continue to use this bar. I've been just waiting for the opportunity to get back at them and to get them out of here. Can it be safe to assume that's the route you're so choosing to take? Yeah, I think we'll be able to help you with that. He says, good. 
If you ever need a direct line into routes that could potentially lead to their hideouts, well, kind of looks around, you know where to find one now. Thank you very much. Thanks for your help. Mm-hmm. I buy a drink for the road. He kind of says, sure, and uh, pours a drink. And we leave? Do you wish to? Is there anything else we need here, guys? I think we've done sufficient. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You, you don't have any cupcakes, do you? We're going he to He shakes the his head and says no. You can never have too many cupcakes, okay? God. Why would you get cupcakes True. from a bard? Why wouldn't you? Damn it, Torvald. Come on, we're leaving. I, uh... I dropped uh, 20 gold on the way out and say, thank you, we weren't here. If anyone asks. He nods his head and says, I didn't see anybody yet. Not today. All right. So the three and of you just leave? Out. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and double back into... We're going to transfer to outside, even though we're not there, technically. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have a map for the other Where? building that Tia, Baron, and um, and Galen are going to. Can we be outside for a second, though? Like, can we sure. have just walked out? Of the okay. Um, we walk outside, and let me pull up my notes. Um, I, I look to uh, Baron and Galen, and I go, he's one of them. I nod in agreement. Uh, well, as we were walking out, I saw him nudge the other guy and tell him to keep an eye on us. He's suspicious of us. We can't. We need to stay away from there. Galen kind of chips in and he says, "Now, I don't necessarily get a bead that he's one of them, but I get a bead he might be in their pocket. He didn't seem to have any problems with the business dealings they were doing in there, which may imply that." Perhaps, in exchange for him not talking much about them, perhaps he's on their payroll. We'll need to take him down if we're going to cut off, if we decide to go the route of cutting off their supplies. I nod in we'll agreement uh, and say we can't really pin any direct involvement, but they are somehow associated. He, uh, Galen kind of nods and says, agreed. They're involved to some respect, but the question is... If these guys are the savages that they're making themselves out to be, then do you really think that money is their biggest problem? I mean, they are being backfunded by Lady Del Mar. I don't think money's going to be an issue for them if their monetary supply dries up. Well, I agree. It's still so another it's ally, and it's it's still an arm. It's still an option of if we need to cut something out of them. Come on, let's go check out the other building. It might give us um. It, we might be able to get some more information from there. And right. this time, not a word from you, Galen. I don't care how well your accent is. He kind of scoffs. I look back at it and, and say, follows. it was pretty good, though. He kind of throws I the same care. accent back at you. I try. I don't care if your accent can fool the goddamn queen of the city. Do not speak. Someone might recognize your accent. You might slip and you might slip up and fall out of the accent. And then we're all screwed. Okay, so you decide to head to this other building here? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, well, it turns out for you, this is actually another, um, it's actually another blacksmithing location, except, actually, no, it's not a blacksmithing location, rather in so much as... Bookstore? What would be a good term for this? I feel like perhaps... An arcanery, maybe? I mean, is okay. that what you would call a place that deals with magical stuff? Sure, yeah. Because it's not a black, sure. it's not a blacksmithing place, but it's one that deals with more uh, magical implements, weaponry, uh, all kinds of magical hooli gooly stuff. So it's like that's kind of their shtick here. Tony, it's your world. Yes. You can call it whatever you want. I just don't know what a good term for it is. That's, so we'll just go with an arcanery. I think that's the term. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so you guys actually find out that this is an arcanery. Um, as opposed to a uh, blacksmithing location. Mm -hmm. 
And so when you go in, um, a small uh, gnome kind of looks up and says, Hey, how are you? I kind of look at him and uh, look to Baron and I kind of, this is your mo- more your thing. I might kill him if I talk to him. I look down at him <laughs> and say, finally, a somebody of right size. <laughs> Gnome looks at you and goes, my, you're a tall one. <laughs> oh, God, really? You did it? <laughs> I had to. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to light you up, sweet cheeks. It's not Millhouse Man. No, okay. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to do a quick religion check to see if there's anything in his shop okay. with a religious like background or something. Sure. Okay, go ahead. Ooh. You do feel like nothing in particular religious, but you do feel the power of a few assorted deities kind of like pulsating from the holy symbols that are scattered around the shop. Anything for Bahamut that I can point out? Give me another check for religion. Another? Okay. Yeah, give me another one. Yeah, actually there is. Okay. What is it? (laughs) So... (laughs) <laughs> uh, it's basically it's a holy symbol that is uh, infused with the blessing of Bahamut. Okay. And that's about as far as you can tell it. If you want to try to figure out more, maybe you can run me an Arcana check. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. My Arcana is so bad. Yep. Oh yeah, you can't tell shit except it just seems to have the powerful influence of the platinum dragon himself emanating from it, but you're just not quite sure Can how. I do a history check to see if it has any historical connotations with it? Sure, sure. Um, shoot, I had a thing. Nothing yeah. of particular historical connotation. Bahamut tended to, you know that Bahamut tended to avoid um, a ton of different magical influences, primarily because his chief rival and, like, big bad like opposite to him Tiamat his nemesis five headed yeah. dragon yeah she's like kind of all about like the crazy elemental shit and he's kind of more into the holy stuff right so i'm guessing just he's a lot more into the good book so to speak okay so yeah from this i take that in this whole thing there's definitely more sorcery stuff than religious and except for yes. this one thing that i'm obviously drawn to uh, not necessarily just this one thing, but you were able to kind of hone in on it because you do have an attunation to Bahamut, but there may be a few other religious things in here, but that's, like, primarily one you're able to lock in on because you do have that, uh, investiture. He is the one who provides your powers. What's your name, Gnome? He looks up and he says, Oh, the name's Drosselmeyer. Tell me more about this artifact right here. I pick up the Bahamut one. And he says, ah, yes, holy symbol, blessed by the platinum dragon himself, Bahamut. Lawful good, real good patron guy to a lot of paladins, as well as I, anybody else who's acting in the best interest of the law. I speak up at this point and go, uh, I look to and I go, this ain't your time to go shopping. We're on, or this ain't shopping time. We're on a, uh, we're on a time limit at the moment. Mr. Uh, sorry, didn't quite catch your name there. What do you know about the uh, Mr. Drosselmeyer? What do you know that likes to hang out here? Uh, I believe they go by the um, the name uh, the Rats. Hmm. Now that's a tricky one because. As far as I know, outside of maybe one or two members of the Rats. Most of them aren't arcane practitioners. Well, the, the, the you happen to get any of them into your shop here um, on the occasion? Maybe they, you know, try to uh, hit you up a little bit for maybe some money or free samples? There's only one person who comes in here, and she's a fairly straight shooter about her business. I know she yeah. is a part of the rats because she wears the insignia on her armor. But other than that, she's actually a pretty straight shooter. She doesn't try to pull any stunts. 
Do you uh, you have a name for this uh, this customer of yours? He kind of froze his brow, trying to remember the name of the individual, and he believes he's like, man, I I can't remember. Was it was something that started with a C? Shadra? No. No, it it, it had a K sound to it. Oh, Who? Who is it? He's well, trying to while think. He's thinking, he's trying can to I do and... uh, an insight check to see if maybe he's holding back knowing? Sure. Okay. You can go ahead and do that. Follow qu- uh, out of character question. Who was the yes. name of the other? It was the king I can't or queen remember either. of the other chick. Yeah. What do you mean? The, when we went to visit the king and the queen, it was the person we met in the bar. Yes, Delana. What was- Delana. Okay. What? Delana. Okay, sorry, couldn't remember yeah. her name. Yeah, it was Delana, and then the ru- the ruling parents, uh, aka Galen's parents slash Eris' parents. It's uh, Lord Oren. It's and uh, Countess Helene. Okay. Okay, you can... You, you're not sure if he's holding anything back, but you can't really tell that he isn't, so to speak. Like, you don't think he's bullshitting you. Right. Because okay. from what you do understand, the, the street... The rats are a group of street thugs, so it wouldn't be common to see many of them resorting to arcane measures. Sure. I... Was the, you said this was a woman working for the rats, yes? Mm-hmm. In fact, one of their lieutenants. You don't say. He says, I just think- can't think of her name. Tell you what. We're, uh, we're, ha- we're hoping to get maybe a small uh, small get-together for people. If For people. If you happen to remember her name, why don't you uh, stop by? And I looked at Baron and uh, say... You have the time and the date. Why don't you, uh, you have the time and the place? Why don't you uh, give our friend here the information, just in case there uh, there may be a little bit of an uh, incentive if you uh, happen to remember. I know. He, kind of, he and froze write down his brow. on a piece of paper what I wrote down before whatever time at the Wyvern Tale. He kind of. You can see his brows furrowed, not because he's disinterested in what you heard. He's like, nod, like, he's kind of like, yeah, uh uh-huh, uh-huh. He's not ignoring you. He's just so locked into thought. He wants to remember this name. I ask him how much for the thing as well. uh, He looks over, and he's like, the holy symbol? Yes. He takes a look at it, and he goes, hmm. So he starts looking at it, and he goes, well, I think I can let that go for 360. I nod and put it down. I'm just making a note, like out of character, I'm making a note about it, though. That's why I asked. So he kind of looks around, and you see him, he's kind of eyeing up this, like, magical floating sphere... And he's just like, man, what was that cleric's name? She was interested in that holy core. 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 That's it! And he turns around and he goes, her name was Cortessa. Cortessa? Cortessa. He kind of nods and he says, yep, she's a lieutenant of the rats. One of three. You say cleric. Mm-hmm. Is what she was interested still in the shop? He shakes his head. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think of how I could word this. Do you know what the artifact... Why she was looking at that artifact? He says... Like who it belonged to. No. He says, I don't know too much about it, but it did come to me from... A shipment from outside of town. Somebody told me apparently it was near the Argus ruins. The 
the Argus ruins. Okay. Um, can and I do a history check to see if I know anything about the Argus ruins? Sure. I also would like to do a history te- check to see if I know anything about the Ardius ruins. Okay. Sorry, well, I'm thinking. No, no problem. Okay, was the fifteen your check, Paul? Uh, the fifteen was my check. Yeah, I'm also going to be doing okay. a religious check for the Argus ruins because I kind of want to know what uh, deity this cleric is all about. Okay. That's kind of what I was trying to get out. Like, what wow. deity is this? Gotcha. Okay, so missed- from. From the, f- from the 15... Oh, fuck. Go Ooh, on. okay, so you don't recognize anything about the Argus ruins, perhaps, but from... What was your first check on history about the Argus ruins? Uh, first was history. S- the seven is a religious, like, background on the Argus ruins. Okay, so you can tell that there's, like, absolutely nothing that you can recall about the religious basis, but the history of the Argus ruins was that it was known to be a place where, in recent years... Uh, all kinds of different magical and arcane artifacts were dug up, but not of a holy nature, rather more of an arcane. So okay. what was coming out from there wasn't necessarily considered from the divine schools. Okay. So he then kind of, um, uh, Drosselmeyer kind of mentioned slightly offhand, she, uh, she did say that she was interested in this, but it was for a friend. Interesting. Okay. How much for it? How much for the uh, the core? Mm-hmm. He looks around and he says, uh, 840 gold. <sighs> All right. She, yeah. well, thank you so much. She <laughs> tried to talk me down too, but it's not going to happen. No, sir, I expect it. I don't expect, uh, I don't believe it. You should. I believe you should leave it sell for exactly that price. It is the perfect price. Well, thank you so much for this information. We'll speak, we might be returning soon to speak with you. You've been a great help. I put down the I, uh, holy symbol and nod. I toss him, uh, a couple, uh, I toss him, uh, three gold. For your troubles, good sir. He says, I'll see if I can remember anything else, and perhaps I'll see you at the tail later. Indeed, sir. Perhaps you will. As we're walking out, I look over to Tia and say, I really wish we knew somebody who knew about Arcana. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go drag let's go drag them out of the tavern. Let's go and get out of here as soon as we can. Oh, All right, so come on. As see. soon as you guys uh, head out, you can you kind of see the other three heading out of the tavern, actually. Okay, so we meet up on the road. Yeah, so you guys meet up on the road. It doesn't take much to get there. At this point, it is about noon, and I would like for everybody in the party to do a perception check here. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. All right. Perception's not bad. There's yes, no- Homer. Ooh, Homer's oblivious. <laughs> Root has an 18. Ooh! Oh! Ooh, that might have just saved you guys' asses. Galen, have I ever told you how oh, lovely your new hair is? Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Double, Suck it. Ooh. So, so, double crits works really well here because one of those crits technically pulls a negate on Homer's <laughs> screw up. Okay. So, Galen kind of evened you guys out, but Torvok just kind of puts you guys over the top. Sweet. Boom goes the dynamite. Torvok, see what you can accomplish you when you're see, not drunk. You see coming out from over on this side here, somebody that looks to be dressed kind of like a thug. Is he wearing a hoodie? He is not wearing a cloak but he is wearing dark black leather armor with what appears to be a badge of a red rat's head emblazoned on his uh, on his chest can I uh, I don't know what I need to roll can I roll to see if I see the uh, dagger that I saw back when I 
was spying on uh, Lady Chandra. Sure, you can go ahead and take a look at uh, that. Perception? Yeah, perception. Oh, that sucks. Fuck me. Oh, well. No dagger, no rapier. Mm -hmm. This guy seems to be holding a broadsword. Okay. Okay. And he's looking at you. Me? At who? Yes, you, Tia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he kind of starts to hasten his pace towards you. I immediately use my speed to dart. Uh, no, wait, I don't dart. I lied. I say, we need to go now. Away Galen kind of looks and says, running. yeah. Galen kind of mouths to the... Like, he mouths to the group before you guys all split off. Looks like your friend who saw you last night's back. Uh, I immediately say, Galen, with me, and um, all of you as fast as you can back towards the tavern. But do not go in if he's on our tail. And I take off running. Do you take Galen... Okay, so do you take Galen with you? Um, I don't... Like, it... I assume he follows me. Like, I would assume he would follow me, like, running. Well, I mean, he can either follow you or he can follow Baron. I'm running to the You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and do a 1d20 roll and see who he follows here. Okay, cool. Okay, okay he's gonna follow Baron. Okay. okay. Um, like, I don't stop to ask questions because this dude kind of creeps me out. I'm not even gonna bother doing a perception check. I'm ru I just start going as soon as everybody says, like, we I should, should say, go. why are you guys running so fast? <laughs> <laughs> totally oblivious. Don't you want cupcakes? <laughs> so the three of us are running, the other three are standing still waiting for the man, the, the scary black, the scary man. No, I'm, I'm following, I'm just confused. <laughs> I'll explain later, just keep running. So we're also running back to you. Me 20 gold. Not now, Homer, <laughs> running, saving our lives. Let's go. Less talking, <laughs> more running. Wait, we're in danger? All right. <gasps> <laughs> yes, it is hard being the smartest person in this group. Okay, Less I want you guys to running. start showing me on the map which route you're going. Uh, uh, which way towards Which way thing? did we... Was he spotted? He was spotted right here. Hi. Okay. And he's probably by now right about here. Which way is the tavern? Going this way. That way. Um. I'm following there Baron. Is, I run there is, like. Uh, there is another way through the uh, Quaris district, but you guys have never been there, so you don't know what's going on up there. I run kind of in like in a diagonal direction, like towards the tavern, but also like on um, the grass, not on the path. Yeah, like I'm making like um I'm making it harder for him to see me, like trying to like almost like hold up, like, like dart in bushes and like stuff like that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Zigzag. Almost to provide a distraction. Serpentine. Yeah, serpentine. That's what serpentine. It's serpentine. So now, what are Root and Torvok doing? I'm going north. I'm gonna try okay, to run so around. You're, north. So you're gonna go through the chorus district? Ye yes. Okay. okay. I'm gonna try to run around the sides of the buildings. Okay. To the other side. So you guys are all splitting off in your different ways. Um, at this point, you kind of all have separated. Um, since Torvok is in the Chorus District, so it takes you a few minutes to get through it, but you're able to route through the Chorus District and go back to Atchpin. So you're back in the main district where everybody else is set to meet up. Okay. Um, Perfect. Baron, Homer, and uh, Galen make it to Atchpin with, like, no incident. Um, Root, you kind of stuck around long enough to watch him, to watch said uh, creepy individual walk into this building here. Uh, okay. Which building? I think. I think I, the yeah, Counting I House. Okay, sorry, I probably need to zoom out my map though. 
So, that. you kind of see him walk in there, and obviously there's like no windows in the building, so this is actually a very opportune time for you to run like hell, basically. Yeah. So, I'm So you choose this that. opportunity to run like hell? Yes. Okay, so you run like hell and you get back to Atchpin without really any issues whatsoever. Um... Tia, what do I want to do with you in this case? I mean, I'm gonna go it. ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and say that you made it back in this instance. Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys back.